Okay, today I'm going to be looking at propagating succulents. Now, at succulents are traditionally plants that don't need as much water as others and are ideal house plants. Um, and what we're going to be doing later on is we're going to be doing more of a, a large scale project and I want to make a couple of vertical walls. And because of the lack of sort of extra water that they need, they make ideal plants for that. And they come in a variety of colours. But I want to be able to make my own as well as Christmas gifts. So we're mid-September now, so it's a very good time for me to start. So what I did a couple of days ago, um, I managed to gently, and I'll show you how. Sometimes this doesn't work, so we'll try nice and gently. If you come up close, I try to ignore the sound of my dagoos in the background. There we are. You can see that's a nice clean... Um, sort of like you wiggle it, you don't cut it, so very gently wiggle it. And sometimes you can wiggle it and it will break off there, and that's not going to be the right one. So if it breaks off too early, it will just dry up and not be ideal. But at the end, because they're called succulents, they really are um, like moisture holders, so you need to leave that for a little bit. And then it sort of calluses over a little bit or calcifies. I'm not quite sure if that's the right word, but it kind of dries up at the end. That's then going to stop it from rotting when you put it into the soil. Now, here are some that I made earlier. For those of you that grow up with Blue Peter, we all know why. So what I've done here, this is a mixture of normal compost with a little bit of sand and a little bit of perlite. So it's sort of um, a third of each. Um, and that's because it kind of holds the moisture a bit more easily. So what you're going to also benefit from using. Um, I use the organic rooting gel. Now this really doesn't have a very nice smell that comes with it um, and some people use the powder but this is very good. Sorry about the smell. <laughs> I'll leave that one there. So what you can do you just dunk the end in and then what you need to do is get it so that it sits nicely in the soil. So these are a couple of days old. I'll do a couple more on camera for you now. And I've seen them where they put them all into nice little patterns and everything, but you don't really need to. You just need to make sure that it's all nice and dried off and that the end bit is sat in the soil. Then, at about a month and a half, two months in, these large leaves will actually start to disappear. So you can see that they're actually drying out and they're starting to take root there. So they're a couple of days old and they're already starting the process and then all I'm going to do is make sure that's an older one make sure that I regularly um, just mist them with a spray of water um, and you can use an old cleaning bottle for that once you've thoroughly rinsed it out you don't need to buy a sprayer for that and as you can see this is just an old sort of foil dish but I've popped it on a plate to keep the rigidity so that the roots will stay. Once you've finished with that, even though it is organic, still obviously wash your hands thoroughly. But this is a really easy one for children to get involved with because you don't really need much skill. Um, I'd be very surprised if these don't all take root. But we'll, we'll look back in 45 days time and hopefully there'll be small enough succulents that I can then pop them up into lots of different sort of unusual uh, Christmas gifts like little stocking fillers. But if you like our ideas, please do like this video um, and comment. And if you would like to, visit us at theminismallholder.com. Thank you very much.